just showered, washed my hair, did a little bit of light makeup. I've been liking just wearing like very light makeup without mascara lately because mascara is just such a pain to take off at night that sometimes I just like going without um, eye makeup. But Chelsea just got here and today's a very exciting day because she is recording for her new health course that's coming out on Balance Boss soon. It's coming out on Friday. Actually, by the time you watch this, it'll already be out. Picked her up a green juice for some fuel. Oh my gosh, don't. Don't look at that, that's nothing. It's spooky. Don't look at my lesson. <laughs> this is my cozy fall outfit of the day. It's from Revolve, it's so, so comfortable. Um, don't mind that little rash on my stomach. It's so cozy and I basically just wanna live in it. So while Chelsea is filming her um, health course, I needed to like basically be silent. So I decided to go get my nails done because I called the nail place that I normally go to and they opened today. I had no idea if they were open or not. I didn't think that nail salons could be open here, but I've heard that they're starting to get reopened. So I called and she was so excited. She's like, we just opened today. And so I went and got my nails done. First manicure and pedicure in seven months probably. I'm gonna set you guys right here. I think since February, maybe even before February. So I got this cute fall color. It was called apple cider, kind of just like an orangey color. Um, I literally never branch out when it comes to nail colors. I basically always just get white or like really light colors, but I decided to get in the fall spirit and switch it up a little. And I think it's really cute. So that felt so good to get a manicure and pedicure. Forgot how much I missed it. I am having this Trader Joe's Mexicali salad for lunch. same outfit changed the pants up a little bit but this is so so comfortable and I was telling Leif recently oh I'm trying to make my loungy outfits match more because it makes me feel a little bit more put together even when I'm just being comfy because a lot of times I'll just wear a completely random t-shirt with sweats which is obviously totally fine to do but if I'm like kind of working throughout the day and I'm wearing that all day I just feel like I'm completely in pajamas so I like to be comfortable, but also when I keep things neutral and they match, I feel like I'm like put together for the day. So that's nice. I am currently eating, well about to eat and make a little avocado English muffin bagel thing. I'm just putting some butter on this right now. And honestly, this avocado is nowhere near ripe. I just cut into it and it's like so hard, so. Stay tuned for how it tastes, but I'm using this, oh, Earth Balance Vegan Butter. This is the kind I use all the time. Let's see if this avocado will even mash on here. The reason I even cut into it, even though it was kind of hard, is because recently I've been cutting into avocados too late. So I was like, maybe I'm not a good judge of what's ripe. Like maybe it does need to be a lot harder on the outside. And obviously this is just really not gonna work. I'm only gonna put avocado on half of one and then I'm probably gonna do like almond butter or something on the other half because this is not a vibe. Delicious. <laughs> I love being a chef. Today's Tuesday and a new podcast episode just came out. It was the polls episode. So we answered a bunch of juicy polls on our Instagram story. You guys answered them actually, we posted them. Like I'll put some on the screen and then we discussed them on the podcast. And this was such a good episode. So you guys should definitely Check it out. I'm putting some lemon pepper and some everything but the bagel seasoning on this sorry excuse for an avocado bagel. That would have been so good if the avocado was more ripe. Anyway, next up we're gonna make a little almond butter English muffin. Hello lady, you want some? If you're allowed to have this. Creamy almond butter. Don't be shy when you're putting on almond butter or peanut butter. Gotta get it creamy. You gotta get a lot of there. A lot of it on there. Next up we will put Cacao nibs, hemp seeds, some cinnamon. That is good. Wow. I'm now eating some carrots and hummus because I'm not full yet. So yesterday, 
I got to like midday and then I just started feeling like I was in the absolute worst mood. I don't even know why. Well, actually probably because my period is approaching. I just was feeling so down and just like ugh, lazy, not wanting to do anything. And anyway, so I didn't continue vlogging because I was just not feeling it at all. And I woke up definitely feeling a lot better today. I actually watched the sunrise in our backyard. It was so pretty. Leif and I went on a walk. We went to like a new neighborhood. We just drove to a random neighborhood and looked at all these really pretty houses and walked around, got some fresh air. So that was really, really nice. And then we cleaned or washed our couch covers and fluffed them. So our couch is looking so nice. Our house smells good. It feels good. It's clean. So that is really, really nice. Anyway, for the rest of the day, Chelsea and I are going to hang out later tonight. We've just been talking about how we've been working a lot together, but we haven't really just been like hanging out as friends, which we are literally best friends and we get to work together, which is the funnest thing ever. But also... We want to just be able to like turn work off and just hang out. So I think we're going to go get some dinner and hang out. I'll take you guys with us later, which I'm really excited for. And Beth is not coming into work today. She's working from home. But we did just announce that we're going to have her on the podcast next week, which is going to be so fun. I think you guys are really going to enjoy hearing from Beth and just like things from her perspective, working as my assistant. Um, I put posted on my Instagram story and had you guys send in questions for her and there's already so many awesome questions so i'm really excited for that episode look i look like a uh, what do i look like right now what kind of person what kind of person yeah uh like front uh, office lady lady because they like always wear cardigans that go over their bums i don't know i just enlisted leif leif's help to make a tiktok he's the video master we leave that up to him huh you want to start editing my vlogs again you want to do that Leif is the ultimate editor, but he's too busy right now with other things to edit my vlogs, so you guys get my basic editing, which I have plans to level up, so stay tuned. We did that photo shoot with uh, Tyson like two weeks ago, and I'm making a TikTok of it, showing a little behind the scenes and then the photos, and you know, Leif's just better with the music and everything, so he's, he's doing it for me. So Leif walked down our hallway. And he's like, it's, I think something's on fire or something smells like it's on fire. And I was like, well, I lit a fall candle. Like, is that what you're smelling? And it maybe is smelling like a fire. <laughs> it's a really pretty, beautiful candle. Um, it's the pumpkin souffle candle from Anthro. And I've had a similar one to this, the oatmeal cookie one. And I got this one for fall. And it's like almost a little too strong or like fiery-ish. Um, we have those Pura things, which I think I showed you guys in like one of our last vlogs that have little essential oil pack things in them. But they have like the volcano candle scent and they have a bunch of fall ones. And the pumpkin chai and the other ones are so good. So I think I'm maybe just used to like maybe a different scent. This definitely doesn't smell bad. It's not like a bad candle. It's just like I guess maybe not what I expected. I grabbing my Kindle from down here because I'm gonna read for like 40 minutes and then I'm gonna get ready a little bit, just put on a little light makeup to freshen up and then I'm going to pick Chelsea up because we're gonna go to dinner. I'm currently reading the book, um, Think Like a Monk by Jay Shetty. It is so, so good. Truly one of the best books I've read in a while. I think I'm literally on like, I'm not that far into the book, but it's just such a good read. I've been highlighting so much. Definitely recommend it if you guys need a new self-help positivity type of book. I didn't end up reading for that long because we are going to take Lady to the Park really fast before I go get Chelsea for dinner. So I'm going to do a very, very quick makeup routine. When I'm just doing makeup really quick and I don't want to do anything crazy, I just wear concealer, I don't do foundation. So the concealer that I love right now is this Kosas concealer. I've actually been using it for a long time, probably like over six months. I think I got it at the beginning of the year and it's really, really good. I have the shade, I think it's like 0.2 or two maybe, just two. So I usually do that. A little bit of bronzer and highlight. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow palette. Some Glossier Cloud Paint. I'm going to put a little link for you guys if you guys want to shop Glossier stuff. Um, they are a podcast sponsor of ours, and they're literally our dream sponsor. They also just came out with an, um, an Auburn Boy Brow. So I use the shade Brown normally. I'll show you guys in a second. But I actually used the Auburn shade the other day because my hair is more red now than 
it's been in a long time and I feel like sometimes if my eyebrows are super dark because naturally they my eyebrows are brown but if I add to it and make them really dark sometimes it kind of just looks like more of a contrast which I don't always love so here's the auburn shade of the boy brow you just do a little fluff can you see the difference between that and that check it out if you want some fluffy brows lipstick charlotte tilbury always pillow talk curl the eyelashes down the hair goes all right let's do this let's see what the temperature is because it feels amazing 86 degrees wow perfect out here she wants to be in the shade She's got the quarantine bod. She's tired. Switched my outfit up to something else very comfy. I'm wearing my set active leggings, white Birkenstocks, and my misguided hoodie. Time for an unboxing. It's time for a cheeseburger oh, haul. Gosh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> time for our weekly cheeseburger haul. This is what okay. a cheeseburger looks like. I literally just got my car detailed and there's now there's tater tots. Everywhere. Yeah. I need to get my car detailed. It's so nice. My car. Those tater tots are incredible. I got a Wait, lettuce why wrap. Why did you get that thing? I got a lettuce wrap instead of a bun. How did you just, get this thing? Oh, you got a what? lettuce wrap instead of a bun? Mm hmm. Anyway, we went to Monty's Good Burger. That's what um. this place is called. They have vegan burgers, fries, milkshakes. That is so freaking good. That was really good. It's really good. Nothing quite like a vegan cheeseburger, you know? I actually got it mine without the cheese, but with the spread. Did you get the cheese on it? Mm hmm. These milkshakes. Wow. Are so good. Oh. <gasps> That's so bomb. <laughs> I love when the light shines directly onto my forehead. Wow, that's so good. We both got strawberry. Well, I got I got strawberry with vanilla. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> what do you think is better, the onion aioli or the ranch? I kind of like the ranch, actually. They're such different flavors. I was going to say, I don't really know, notice a huge difference. Mm, they're both so good. Be in the shadows. <laughs> 100 <laughs> Spooky season. 100% plant-based. recipe and I'm gonna kind of change it a little bit. I'm looking to get into the fall spirit. This whole vlog I feel like is me getting into fall mode. I think this serves two people so hopefully Leif wants some. So far I've done one cup of almond milk, one banana. I got some canned pumpkin yesterday at Trader Joe's. I also got some pumpkin waffles and the pumpkin O's, the cereal from Trader Joe's. You really can't beat Trader Joe's fall stuff or their seasonal stuff in general. They really go all in. Okay, it says a half a cup. I'm not gonna like totally measure this, but I'll just guess. Probably about good. Some maple syrup, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. I do not have any allspice. I'm gonna put a little bit of this pumpkin pie spice. Also, that definitely is not gonna feed two people. I also added some of this vanilla protein powder. I felt like it needed to be a little bit thicker, so I added that and a little bit more banana and a little bit more ice. Taste test, that's really good. Wow, fall inspired smoothie. That is super yummy. I'll have the recipe for this 
on my Instagram uh, story if you guys want to go check it out. Maybe I'll put it on a highlight. So, I just took a shower. My hair is still kind of wet, and I am going to get a facial right now. I have not gotten a facial in... I don't even know how long months and months and months because just places haven't been open in LA including the place I always go which is Bijou Beauty so I'm so excited to finally get a facial I'm having definitely a breakout on my chin right now from traveling and wearing my mask like all day on the travel days I don't really feel like I get acne if I'm just wearing the mask to like go you know somewhere for 10 minutes but because we were on flights like all day and throughout the airport and stuff I just started getting breakouts and acne so I'm so excited to just kind of get a little a deep clean on my face I love getting facials so much and I actually used to go monthly before the pandemic home from my facial it felt so amazing my skin feels so hydrated and just like exfoliated and good I'm not gonna be wearing makeup for the next 24 hours I usually just like to give my skin a break after a facial I mean that's what you're supposed to do anyway and I usually just try and refrain from putting anything on it for about a full day so she did do some extractions which is why my skin is kind of like my breakouts are a little more inflamed probably because we're trying to get all that junk out but I'm gonna make some lunch right now, I've already started. I'm making some pasta with zucchini. This is the kind of pasta I'm making. I'm not really following a recipe, but I did see something on Pinterest, that's where I got my inspo for this. Anyway, it looked really simple and good, so that's what I'm making for some lunch for us. Okay, so here's the final pasta. Put some nutritional yeast and some red pepper flakes and olive oil and salt and pepper. This is so good and delicious and simple. This is the nutritional yeast that I use. It's kind of like a cheesy vibe if you are vegan or if you don't like to eat dairy. I don't put a ton, but I definitely feel like it elevates the flavor. Podcast time. Oh, this sounds weird. I can't hear myself talk. Riddle me this. Why does my hair look greasy when I washed it today? I washed it this morning. It doesn't look greasy. It looks like... Ugh, does anyone else have this problem? Guess who's going to be on our podcast hello world beth guys actually you know what a lot of people have requested you i'm not joking what i'm you've famous been, you've been requested <laughs> she's like i'm you an influencer now oh, this look is not good for me. <laughs> it's not like greasy at all you know what helps with grease honestly what getting highlights Really? It does. It, it actually, you're right because when I had blonde hair, yeah, my hair literally didn't. It never yeah. looked greasy. Yeah, well, you guys saw it. Had yeah. roots for 12 months. Okay? Yeah, during quarantine, just got it blonder, and now I can go five days yeah. without washing my hair, and I'm like, wow, it still looks just as I good. I know it wow. is so nice. It's it's true. Right. That's true. Where before it's like love being blonde. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, literally black is nice. <laughs> yeah, same thing. When I got highlights, it's it been a while. Changer. We're doing a little Q and A kind of thing with Beth. A bunch of you guys sent in questions on Instagram and we're gonna answer all your burning questions about what it's really like to work with me and Chelsea. I'm gonna ask her a lot of burning questions about JC's worst and seek worst habits and deepest darkest <laughs> secrets. What is your review of your first podcast ever, Beth? Oh What'd you my think? gosh. Well I was sweating the entire time. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was sweating. But I was so nervous. But it was so much fun. It was so fun, huh? And um I would totally do it again. Do you wish you had a podcast, right, kind of? Um, I wish I'd be on your podcast again. I don't okay. know, but I wish I'd have my own podcast. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like do you wish you'd be an entrepreneur now? Yeah. You it was, do need a blonde host, though. That's true. true. It was so fun. We asked so many good questions. Beth gave her her very healthy morning routine. Yeah, it's very I'm interesting. Obsessed. I have the memory card, and I need to send this podcast content over to our producer right now. So that's what I'm doing. And they are going to go play pickleball, but I don't think I'm going because... I don't want to sweat a bunch. She's scared of us. I'm like, I'm scared of Beth's serve. <laughs> I can't sweat right now after I got my facial because if you work out and sweat and stuff, it'll cause breakouts and clogged grossness. Everyone left to play pickleball without me. I'm making myself a little bit of dinner. Currently cooking a turkey burger on the stove. I'm making some sauce to put on top of it. I just put ketchup and mayonnaise together. And then some smoked paprika. Oops. And stir that all together to make a little sauce. Here's my turkey burger. I think I'm gonna put the sauce on first. Delicious, amazing. 
We're gonna put some spinach on here, get some greens in. I'm gonna do a half an avocado. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on top of this avocado. Salt. Here is my random dinner creation. I have really been trying to listen to my body more and be more health conscious. Conscious? Yeah. Because I haven't been feeling that amazing. I got way off my workout schedule. Like I was telling you guys, I was just doing such random workouts every day that I felt like I wasn't getting a super good, like thorough workout in throughout my weeks. Um, before the pandemic, I would go to the gym five days a week and I was on a program and I just felt really strong and healthy. It's kind of trying to like get back to that place, not even looks wise, just like kind of mentally. I just started on Monday. I started the power program on the sweat app with zero equipment. So it's called power program zero equipment by Kelsey Wells. And my mom is actually doing it with me too. If you guys want to start it up, you should, because it's all stuff you can do from home with just your body weight, but they're super good um, exercises and workouts. They get me sore and feeling really good. So I just started that on Monday and I'm excited to be consistent with that. It's nice to have a program to follow so that you're kind of not just like bouncing around. Although if that works for you, that's totally fine. Also, I've been feeling like I've been eating a lot of processed food and a lot of sugar lately, which I just don't want to do because it makes me feel sluggish and tired and just have low energy. So I'm just trying to make healthier choices all around for every reason and i've been feeling really good actually the past like week and a half i don't ever like i don't follow any sort of specific diet eating plant-based does taste or like feel really good to me and of course i will still eat hamburgers and shakes like i really believe in not depriving yourself but also treating your body with respect and healthfully so that you can you know just be feeling really good and have energy and just feel confident in the skin you're in and a lot of times when i do eat just like a lot of processed foods all day i just don't feel good so i'm trying to get back to that place mentally and I feel like it's it's going well so far and I'm happy and I've just been making more simple healthy meals at home and it's been feeling good. This is actually so bomb. Kind of random combo, but... Good morning. We just drove to a random neighborhood to take our morning walk. We've been going on walks basically not every morning, but most mornings with Lady. And, you know, when you walk the same route every day, sometimes you just need to switch it up, switch up the environment. So the other day we drove to a pretty neighborhood and... Today we're doing the same. Leif's getting Lady already with her little uh, harness and leash. You ready for a walk, Lady? We're gonna go get some fresh air. It's actually pretty, I, don't, I wouldn't say chilly, but it's, again, it's just feeling like the seasons are changing. It's not super hot. It's 64 degrees. Honestly, perfect, perfect weather. I feel like I always talk about the weather in my vlogs. It like affects me so much. If the weather is nice, I'm like great, happy, satisfied, and when it's like, freezing or too hot it affects my mood lady got very messy and dirty because we took her to the park after we went on our walk <laughs> and her paws are so muddy she got mud all over my jacket Leif was a chef he goes do you want eggs and I was like no I'm already making my waffles and then he comes out with this I'm like okay I wanted that I would want that <laughs> I didn't want just like eggs plain like I wasn't you know wasn't interested but apparently he's just making full course meals over here you that snooze looks really you good. lose awesome have you guys ever been to snooze am eatery made an order on Crate and Barrel. I ordered some new kitchen stuff. So 
I have been feeling like, I don't know if it's the fall, the change of seasons, I don't know what it is in me that's just wanting to be more organized. I want things to be neutral. I want things to match. I feel like, for example, our utensils. I bought some pink ones from Amazon. I'm kind of just not feeling them anymore because they're on display and I feel like they draw attention because they're pink and I kind of just wanted neutral ones. We have a bunch of just random colored things in our kitchen. I don't know. I just want things to be matching more. So I got some new plates, some new dinner plates, which I know this doesn't probably doesn't sound that exciting, but I'm very excited about what I ordered. I ordered um, a mixing bowl set of five mixing bowls. I got a fruit basket because we don't have a ton of storage space in our kitchen. And I feel like our fruit is always just in some random bowl because I don't have like just a designated fruit bowl, so I got that. Anyway, I am so excited about this, and I went to order it, and then it was like, oh, you can pick it up from this location, um, and it said you have to order by 12 p.m. to pick it up today, and it was already 1, it's 1 p.m. right now. It's like, oh, dang, and then it randomly was like, it'll be ready, like, today, and so I think I can pick it up today, maybe later. Um, I wanted to order this cookware set that's like, basically, pots and pans um and they're all matching again obviously and they're really nice but they're just pricey and i feel like we don't absolutely need it right now so i might save that for maybe ask for that for christmas or something or buy it more near the holidays i also have not ordered yet but i've been on amazon because i wanted to order some new glasses like drinking glasses again because ours are random we have like three random kinds of drinking glasses and they don't like stack well because they're just not the same brand and size and everything. I ordered two sets of, of four of these drinking glasses that I think are cute. And then I also ordered, um, actually I've not, I've not ordered yet, but I'm going to order a spice liner. So like a drawer liner that I can put all of my spices in because our spices right now are in a cabinet and they are a tragedy. I can actually just show you guys what they look like. All the different spices that we use every day, you know, like for cooking. So let me, let me just give you a sneak peek. So they're up here and that's what it looks like. It's so hard to find which spice you want because they're not like elevated or anything. So they're all just on the same level and you just have to like take all of them out and like reach back. So it's been annoying us for a while and we're like, we wanna just get some way to organize this. Um, but this drawer or this cabinet actually isn't huge. So we're gonna just, because we have a lot of random kitchen stuff anyway, we're gonna clear out one of our drawers and put that like liner in there and then put all our spices in there. I also even, I even went so far as to get um, the like glass spice jars that you can label yourself just to make everything look a little bit more clean. I've just been thinking lately about how when your house is cluttered, even if it looks clean on the surface, when like the little details of it are cluttered, it causes anxiety and just clutter you know, in my life. And I'm trying to avoid that. I don't know about you guys, but when certain places in my house I know are really messy, like inside the closet. Yeah, no one else knows that it's messy in there. And like, I'm not going in, you know, my guest closet every day or something. But the fact that it's like a disaster and I always know that subconsciously just stresses me out. And I, I've never been a super like neat freak or clean. I mean, I consider myself a clean person, but I've like my room was always messy growing up and stuff, but the older I get, I don't know, just the more I'm like, I just want my space to be clean and not to stress me out basically. So, you know, that's that's what we're trying to get to here. We just got done filming a video reacting to your assumptions about us that will be up shortly. So make sure to stay tuned for that video. I just turned the light and turned the camera over here. But this really cute girl who took one of our Balanced Boss courses sent us these sweat sets, a hoodie and sweatpants in pink and blue, obviously. And they're so comfy and so cute. Her Instagram is Milkstain Apparel. Check her out. They're so cute and tie-dyed perfectly. We love a matching sweat set. I feel like, don't you feel like it was just yesterday that we were wearing matching sweat sets literally every day? Like, I feel like it was, like, yeah. this time of year, two seconds ago, almost. I know. But I guess a lot of people wore these during quarantine. Yeah. Once quarantine started, 
I just feel like it hasn't been. A, I remember I was gonna I cut. I was gonna cut all of my sweats into shorts because it was summer. Mm -hmm. And then like I just didn't, and I forgot. Yeah. And then a week and now, later, yeah. Cold. And now it's like fall. I'm like, oh, I'm glad I didn't yeah. cut all my stuff. Weird. Anyway, we ate some vegan treats that I ordered from Fresh on Sunset. Um, we ate this carrot cake and these this little Hostess vegan cupcake, and it was delicious. The carrot cake was actually better than the cupcake. Yeah, the carrot cake was delicious. It was really good. Glad I ordered it. Good morning. It's Friday today. And guess what I got today? Leif's world famous breakfast that he invented yesterday. We got some eggs, we got a little fruit bowl, we have a little mini salad, if you will, with some spinach, avocado, baby tomatoes, and what is the dressing, Leif? Vegan ranch. Some vegan ranch. Wow, I'm feeling spoiled right now. So I'm currently editing my video with Chelsea that we filmed last night, reacting to your assumptions about us, and it's gonna be a really good video. It'll be up pretty soon after you see this vlog, um, so stay tuned for that. And we also found out today that our podcast hit over 5 million downloads, which is so amazing, and you guys have been getting us on the top charts every single week, which is so crazy. So if you have not listened to our podcast yet, go check it out. If you like watching my weekly vlogs and you don't listen to our podcast, if you like seeing me and Chelsea hang out, you will like our podcast, hopefully. I think you will. So go listen to it if you need a little pick-me-up. We have lots of good episodes that have come out recently and we're gonna do a spooky story one for Halloween. We do that every single year. So this will be our third annual spooky story episode where you guys write in the scariest thing that's ever happened to you and we share it on the podcast. And these episodes are so good. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm gonna go pick up my Crate and Barrel stuff soon after I eat this breakfast. And I'm very excited to see it. I have to give myself a pat on the back because I just got the best parking spot ever and this never happens to me, especially in LA. So, I'm sitting in my car right now, obviously. And that's the Crate and Barrel. Are you kidding me? I'm really having a, a hair crisis kind of day. Don't know if that happens to any of you guys where you just hate your hair. I did it a little, I like waved it a little bit to give it a little bit of texture, but I've realized that something I think is happening to me and that is that I'm, I've been using the same shampoo and conditioner for too long and my hair is getting used to it, so it's getting greasy a lot. I will literally wash my hair and the like two hours after I get out of the shower, it's like super PC and just looks greasy. And I don't know if it looks that way on camera, probably does, honestly. But my hair is not dirty, so I'm like, why does it look like this? So I just ordered actually a new kind of shampoo and conditioner so I can like kind of trade off and use both kinds. That way my hair doesn't get too used to something. So, anywho, I'm about to go in. I'm a tie-dye gal today. I have my tie-dye mask on and I'm gonna pick up this order. First though, I wanna finish my chai so it doesn't get super watery. Lay down. Cool, I can't even see lady, you know why? That's not why. Yeah, Watch. It was. Yeah, now I can see her. Sit, lay down. Can you see her? I uh, no. <laughs> I just woke up from a nap. I planned to sleep for 10 minutes and I slept for like an hour. We're gonna look at these dishes that we ordered. Here's the mixing bowls. We don't need to do a full unboxing of the bowls. This one has the ocean in it. So these are the mixing bowls I got, it's a set of five. And I'm excited to have them. Nothing too special or cool to look at for you guys, but. They're not as heavy as ours. Really? Let's look at the plates I ordered. I'm very excited to see these in person. I love them. They're square dinner plates. I don't know if you guys can tell that they have kind of like some texture and like a little bit of imperfections to them, which I love. And I got these in two sizes. So this is the dinner plate size, and then this is the salad plate size, which I feel like will be good for breakfast, and this will be good for dinner. Um, because you know, when you're having like eggs and avocado or something, you don't always want like a massive dinner plate. I'm so happy about those. Is there another bag? I got like utensils and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that really all the, the, there's three bags. Yeah, three bags. Right there. What the heck? I had the, that fruit basket and the white utensils. And they're not in here. And like I paid for them. They gave you three bags? Mm -hmm. They were not in those oh. bags. Now I feel like it's weird for me to call and say like, I picked up my order, but 
Half of it wasn't in there. Whatever, I guess I'll call in the morning. It is the next day. I called Crate and Barrel about the missing items and they put me on hold for a while. And honestly, I'm kind of unclear about what's happening because I realized after I hung up that I was like, wait, I don't think I got an answer because they said, oh, the bags might still be here. Like you might've, um, we might've accidentally not brought one of the bags that had the missing items so you might be able to just like come back and grab them or we can pull new pieces out and you can come get them and then i was like okay thank you so much and then they hung up and then i was like wait but like are they ready for me to come pick up now or tomorrow or what's the deal so i need to call them again honestly to be like so can i come pick them up i didn't compute i thought i computed what they meant but then i hung up and realized i was still confused by the way when i say utensils i don't know if you guys think i mean like silverware i don't know what you would think but this is what i'm referring to when i say utensils um so those are the pink amazon ones we have and honestly they work really great i like them it's just the color i feel like is throwing me off like i said i just kind of want things to be more neutral so yeah but i did order some glasses that you can see right here the drinking glasses from amazon and they're so cute i haven't used them yet but i want to show them to you guys they're technically like they're called beer can glasses um here's what they look like i just feel like they're such a good size for smoothies juices chai just like an ice water i really like them so i got a set of eight of those and then i also got these glass mugs that i think are so cute they remind me of kourtney kardashian i feel like she posts a lot about these on like poosh or something i don't know but they're really cute i thought they'd be so cute for like hot chocolate and more like hot teas herbal teas before bed stuff like that i just love the glass look it's so cute those are also from amazon so i put on some tanning stuff on my face last night and whenever i put these tanning drops on i feel like i automatically just level up like it doesn't even make a huge difference. I just feel like it gives a little bit of like color and life to my face. Here are the tanning drops that I use. It's the Isle of Paradise medium self tanning drops. I usually do between three and four drops. You can add between one and 12 drops. I've never gone above like four, maybe five if I'm feeling crazy. But I will say that in multiple of my vlogs where I've put on these tanning drops, I feel like it looks like I have a mustache. Like right here will just kind of be like dark and shadowed. And someone has actually has even commented about that. They're like, uh, JC looks like she has a mustache. So you just mix the um, drops into your moisturizer, go like this, and then put it all over your face. But I kind of now like avoid this area. I kind of just like do it really lightly so that it doesn't look like a shadow. Um, I don't know if it looks like that right now. Maybe it does and you guys are all like, yeah, you do look like you have a mustache. Anyway, something to be cautious of if you are going to use these drops, but honestly, I love them so much. I want to try this new brand called, I think it's called like Lux. Let me look. Lux Unfiltered, I want to say. Yeah, so they have like a new bronzing face drops. They look really cute. I wonder how those are. They have really good reviews. Maybe I should try those out. I always love trying new tanning products out. I actually just tried out a new like very affordable self tanner that i was so impressed by and i'm actually gonna work with them i'm really excited i'll share with you guys later so we are on day two right now of filming something for balance boss chelsea and her sister are actually in my backyard right now with Leif filming a little yoga thing we're doing for balance boss because chelsea's sister abby is a yoga instructor and i'm really excited about it new stuff is coming chelsea's health course launched last week if you guys are interested in it it's a clean eating 101 is what it's called it's all about healing your relationship with your body and with food and chelsea has so many good tips a lot of you guys ask me health and wellness questions or questions i've, I've even gotten questions like what do i do if i'm restricting myself or i feel like i have an eating disorder and chelsea has struggled with an eating disorder in the past and she's super open and has helped so many people she's a certified health coach so Anyway, if you feel you're struggling with any of that, I would highly recommend this class or this course. I just think this is such powerful information that she's sharing. And I think honestly, anyone could benefit from it, but especially if you do feel like you are in a hard place with any of that stuff. I'll link um, her course below and you guys can check it out if you want. Anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I started my period yesterday. That explains why I was so tired and just hormonal. Earlier this week, I said I was like feeling so down and that you know, it all makes sense. Around this time, I swear once a month I have a mental breakdown and I always tell Leif, I'm just like, I don't get it. I just feel so 
da 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 and he's always like, look at the calendar, and it's always right around this time. The hormones are going wild. My cramps were really bad yesterday, and they're feeling a lot better today. So that's good. Thank you guys so much for watching my weekly vlog. Thank you so much for all your support on YouTube. It has been so fun. I realized I think this is my 10th week in a row doing the weekly vlogs, which is like a few months. So that's crazy and I'm still loving it. So make sure you give this video a little like, only if you liked it though. And subscribe to my channel if you want more fun weekly vlogs and I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.